Welcome to another Parent Teacher Video Lesson from the EarlyGiftedManual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome everyone to Lesson 52, Color Tiles and Color Cubes. Uh, we'll be working with one inch color tiles and color cubes, as well as pentominoes. And uh, what we'll be doing in this lesson is I'll show you some ways in which you can work with these manipulatives uh, with, your, with your child uh, to, to show them some very uh, interesting concepts. Let's leave it at that for now. Um, materials. Uh, the first thing you'll need are plastic color tiles, and of course we've used these so many times now, I don't think I have to explain these, as well as the color cubes, the one inch uh, color cubes. I have an older set of wooden ones, and of course I recommend a six color set of 102 on the early gifted manual. That's a very nice set, so you can get those if you want. Um, Let's see, what else here? Pentominoes, of course, and uh, I'll give you a longer explanation of what pentominoes are all about uh, in the second part of the lesson. Uh, but right now, as you can see, I have a, a set of 12, so you will need at least a set of 12 of these. And I'll just give you a quick look. They're very thin, and each one of these has five squares in them, five congruent squares, and they're connected along their, their edges into different, in different ways. And I'll explain that a little more when we get to pentominoes. And finally, you'll need a framing square, and I'll show you how we're gonna use that very soon. Uh, you could get by with a small one like this, or if uh, your child is very ambitious and wants to make some huge designs, you can go with a a bigger framing square. So let's start by working with uh, the color tiles. And um, as, as you know at this point, because uh, we've been uh, through many lessons now that these are have lots of uses. They're very useful as uh, counters. They're great for patterning exercises, estimation, a variety of things. And now we're going to use them to uh, do some tiling. And specifically, um, I want to use the, the word tessellations. And uh, what does that word mean? Well, it means uh, to lay out in a mosaic pattern of small square blocks. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So uh, in effect, we're, we're uh, making a, a larger pattern, not a linear pattern so much as a, one that's, that goes in uh, two dimensions. So um, let's see. First of all, uh, you will find out right now why I recommended uh, using the framing square. I've got the small one here, and uh, I'm going to do this. Start out like this, and as you can see, look how easy this is for your child and you to do. It just, uh, since you have this framing square here, it, they just index right in. You don't have to worry about knocking the alignment apart or anything like that. So let's keep going here. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll stop right there. And now, uh, I'm gonna keep building this figure we're making here. And I'm sure um, you may be looking at this right now and saying, oh, you're making a checkerboard pattern. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. And 
that's the beginning of uh, the checkerboard pattern. And as you can see, I've completed the design off camera. I didn't want to make you suffer through me putting this whole thing together for a few minutes there. But as you can see, a really nice square, a checker pattern, a really nice design. And kids get thrilled about doing this kind of stuff. Uh, they, they get very excited about it. My kids in uh, kindergarten and uh, preschool just loved doing things like these. And of course, they made ones much bigger than these also and much more complicated. But this is a great place to start uh, with a checkerboard pattern, two different colors. And as you can see, this uh, I'll, I'll say it again, this framing square makes the job very, very easy for your, uh, your child to do. So let's try one more just to kind of uh, cement the, the concept we're doing here. And I think I'll start with some different colors this time. And now I'm going to uh, put a little ripple into it for my own purposes here. I'm going to uh, do it this way, build it this way, and you'll see why when I'm finished. So this is how I'm going to start. That one just fits in there. And as you can see, I finished it uh, off camera. And here's what, what I came up with. Obviously a little more complex than the last design, but uh, not that difficult to do. Your child should be able to do this. And if, of course, uh, they need your help. You can help them out a little bit. So these, uh, these tessellations are just wonderful ways for your child. First of all, it's just they like doing it. It's very calming thing for children and it's also a powerful developer of spatial intelligence and and uh, oh you know uh, just design intelligence I guess so great great activity for your child and if you want to once uh, he or she is finished or if they want to do you can gently pull away uh, our framer here and see it in all of its glory and we can also do this tiling and or uh, tessellations as I like to call them we can make tessellations using the color cubes so uh, the only difference will really be as you will see shortly here that there's a bit more depth to your design but other than that it's pretty much the same thing so whatever you know your child prefers uh, they can use. Let's see, what am I going to do this time? I'm thinking, thinking here. I'm going to start it this way. And here is the finished version of what I started. And as you can see, it's just a very simple cross design. So uh, once again, you work with these the same way we worked with the color tiles and uh, your child is only limited by his or her imagination. I've, I've worked with squares so far. Of course, you could work with rectangles um, uh, if you want, if your child wants. You could work with maybe a rectangle instead of a square. So that's another possibility. And of course, when it comes to various designs, types of designs they can do. The sky is, is the limit. There are so many possibilities. So um, these are the color cubes. And like I said, just like the color tiles, except you have a little more uh, depth, I guess you'd, you'd call to it, to the design now. They're a little, the design is a little deeper since we're using cubes instead of tiles. And now let me show you one more activity your child can do with uh, color cubes. And uh, as you can see, I've just put out uh, the six colors I have here. Um, 
uh, just to, to remind you, and uh, my set has white. Uh, most sets have a purple one, so mine's a little different. And these cards I'm about to show you use purple ones, but uh, that shouldn't throw, throw anyone. So uh, let me explain what I have right here. These are uh, uh, a set of activity cards for uh, color cube activities, and it's a set of 34. And if you'd like to purchase this set, there's a link to do that on the early gifted manual. And um, like I said, there's a, a total of 34 of them, and I've just taken out a few to kind of highlight some of the activities you can do with these cards. And uh, start, uh, starting out with a very simple shape, it says make this shape, choose any four color cubes to make this shape. That's easy enough, right? And of course, as we go along, they get a little more challenging. Use color cubes in two colors to make these shapes. And uh, I'm not going to read every card here, but as you can see, as you go on, the, uh, the uh, constructions get more challenging. So your child is looking at these cards and trying to recreate uh, these 3D constructions. And of course, we already done this. We just did this, so uh, you know what that's all about. And uh, here we go, build a tower. Now we're getting into some more 3D type stuff, a little more challenging. Build an even uh, more complicated tower. And let's just keep moving along here. And this one says shapes with hidden cubes. Some of the cubes your child can't see in this ice, nice isometric 3D drawing here, so they're, they're going to have to kind of uh, uh, use their brains and look through the drawing and, and, and figure out uh, how to make this with, even though they can't see some of the cubes. So, ah, an even tougher one, shapes with hidden cubes. Look at this one, very challenging. So, as you can see, um, uh, I'll leave one out here. These cards are just wonderful uh, exercises your child can do uh, to once again, you know, uh, boost their uh, uh, design intelligence and spatial intelligence. Um, just work your way through all of these wonderful 34 activity cards.